one. Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, playing some more TerraTech 0.6.2.1, the newest unstable version. I was just trying to load in a tech that I had made in uh, the campaign into the R&D, but it doesn't seem to show up on my list here. Not too sure why. I got this weird feeling if I use uh, the terminal that it will be in there. Because I've had this problem before where they're missing on the load screen or they're missing out of the shop, vice versa. I've had text miss from both spots. It usually happens to be my big text too. So what I'm going to try and do here is see if I'm right. I'm going to just get in there with a brand new tech, find myself uh, a terminal. We'll see if there's any differences in my uh, list of texts that I can shut order in. Now already I see a few extras in there. There's the one I want right there. I spy. So I had an idea for this tech. I've been hearing a lot of talk about flying techs and this, this and that. and. I know before they were talking about Geocore having blimps and that, but I guess that might not happen now. That might go to a different corporation when they're ready. So that got me thinking. But then I also noticed this. Right off the start, my uh, UI is already flickering pretty crazy. So that's another thing they've been working at and trying to get figured out. But back to the whole blimp idea. It's not necessarily a Geocore blimp I'm making, but I'm aiming towards making a blimp. As far as handling, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get it to handle with what I want to make. But that's part of the adventure and the challenge in building something like this. Anyway, let's get to work. So I finally got it in there. I ordered it in with the terminal. And the first thing I wanted to do is rip out the bottom here where it's selling everything because I'm going to move a lot of stuff up above on the blimp part because that's going to be my like refining well not only refining most of that will be done down here it will be like my secondary setup to catch anything that slips through here and it will be available to do a bit of crafting and stuff give me more options I'll have more room up there so here I'm just going to replace that selling system I had with a conveyor system to drive everything up to the top of my tech. That way it'll be a little easier to work on and hopefully nothing will get jammed up because everything's moving. Downside is I ain't going to have as many guns under there. They're kind of nice for clearing away the resources and that that I get stuck on. These big techs usually get stuck at some point. And this ain't even really a big, big tech, but it's been stuck once or twice. Kind of odd situations, but overall it's pretty good. I had the base of it anyway, driving around <coughs> in the main game. And the first version of this I had, I was playing with in the campaign in my last video, I believe. It's been a little while, I haven't really watched the last video again since I uh, finished it. So I can't really remember it too great. It's kind of an issue I got. <laughs> and I just got to get my conveyor set up going here. This is actually kind of a tricky little spot. It looks like it'd be an easy one, but there is a wee bit of lag that I'm contending with. The main problem is, is if you have two conveyor lines side by side like this and they meet at any time at an end, a common end, they join. So to keep them individual lines, you got to build one ahead of the other. So just in case no one has run into that, that's the situation with those. And I guess most of us probably have run into it, but for the newer players, might be handy little tidbit of information. So I'm almost getting to the sweet spot where it should get a little easier. Yeah, if you notice, you can see the venture wings and such up underneath there. I kind of thought of this while I was in the campaign. I wanted to make this thing fly. And, well, more of a jump, jumping glide, I guess. Originally was my intent. But now I just got the blimp idea. 
So I'm not going to show the whole build because this thing's going to be pretty big, but I'm going to try and show the important parts. So that gets me up to the top pretty much. <coughs> couple more and be able to expand from there. I'll probably just leave these ended off here for now until I get a better overall idea what I am going to really create. To see there at the top they joined, they crossed over so I'm going to have to just leave that one out for a bit. Then that way I won't forget and have a boo-boo later. The corner ones like that, they don't join together, or the arrows don't show up. They might pass to each other though. I've seen that in the stream or something. See that one, it wanted to join into the side. So the corner ones mustn't pass sideways to each other, or the arrows would have showed up. So now I think I'm going to try and get a bit of the structure made and get on with that. Then I know what kind of space restrictions I got when I go to build my conveyor systems and refining and anything else I want to do. So I jumped ahead a little bit. If you kind of notice it's taken shape and it's starting to look like an eyeball. Kind of an evil eyeball. Maybe angry even. And right in the center there, got me a little flamethrower action going on. Not too bad of a pro progression for that little bit of building that I got there. It went together kind of nice too. It wasn't too tricky to figure out. I've done quite a few of these roundish kind of looking things. But this happened while I was playing. There's all the arrows from my conveyor systems from down below in my base of my tech. I guess I couldn't see them good enough so they just popped right up there so I could check them out better. Which would be alright, except it uh, makes it kind of hard to line up what piece the arrow goes for. So I'm chalking that up to a bug. I sent a report in about it and everything already, but well, that looked kind of cool, really, the way it's out there. Wouldn't want to have to play like that all the time, but... But I think all the arrows are accurate. They're just offset a wee bit. <laughs> a little too high on the Z-axis. Yeah, I'm trying a couple of things here. Nothing really seems to want to reset them back into place. Just trying to switch their directions, but they didn't even move or nothing. So I'm just doing a little speed test here. So I was aiming for about 60 with this thing. So far, I think I got her max is 35. But with this big blimp top that I'm building on it, it leaves me a lot of room for play. I can do something about the speed a little bit. And I still have to worry about the flying too. So I got a little bit more done. More back to the kind of the blinking part of the eye. And yeah, I like fire. Because it is an evil eye. And I finally got enough of it done where I can get this thing to fly. And yep, a bunch more flamethrowers. Figured I wanted to keep the base on it, the big base at the front there. Just, well, you gotta land sometimes and you need to be able to defend yourself. And with something this big, I'm hoping that that base is going to allow me to maneuver fairly good. As you can see, it'll do about 58 while climbing, altitude-wise. It seems to fly all right in straight lines, but turning's a little bit tricky. It leans at the top. Too much turning up at the, up high, I think. Too much weight, too. It's got like a pendulum kind of effect. But it seems to kind of soar at about 72 or so, kind of flat. <coughs> oh, I'm coming down a little bit, so maybe it'd be 70 or something if I leveled off nice. But as you see, it lands fairly good, even crooked, and it stayed upright. 
And on Flatland, that looked like it was hitting 68 there. It still turns fairly decent. It's basically turning the same radius as the small base was. And those back tires, they're just barely bobbing on the ground, I think. Or just floating above it. But I got a feeling they're going to be my kickstand, because when I get the rest of the back end done, it's going to weigh it down. So this is pretty much the finished tech here. As you can see, it flies alright, gets up in the air. Climbing speed, about 60 we'll say. Oh, now it'll drop. Went up too high. Now you do have to be careful with this one. If you nose up too much all at once, she's going to kick back on you. There's a ton of fans pulling this thing straight up. And when they take over the over your center of gravity, balance, and all that, it's going to pull you straight backwards. Like you're going to see right... Yeah, here we go. <coughs> one thing you can do, though, is just let off the, the shift button and catch yourself as, when it levels out. Problem being, you got to hope that you're high enough to pull it off. So now that it's finished, you can kind of see that it's more of a, a flying tornado eyeball. I figure this is about as gory as I'll make it. I was thinking blood and kind of stuff like that, but eh. That's just a little too intense for the type of game I think it, this should be portrayed as. But it still handles fairly nice. I had to put a lot of spoilers in it and under it and around it and everything else to kind of balance it out. But it seems to work fairly good. Lands really soft. I didn't even see a red flash of a wheel on that one. And since it can still drive and everything, it actually could be useful on the ground. Lots of stuff for steering in this puppy on the back. Yep, there's a good flame show at the front. So I tried again. I retook my picture. And I was going to see if I could order this in. Because if I can order it here, then I'll be able to order it in the main game. And that's where I want to put this. I want to get it in the dark. So I tried here, and there it is there, but not in the terminal. So I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, there's all the different saves I've got. And there's the starting version, that Firebug Extreme. Well, that was the first version I did. So those are all the ones that are supposed to be there, but not. And eh, that's a good crash there. <laughs> Well, my tech crashed, and then my game crashed. Well, I'm going to end this one about here, and if I can get this into the main game with some at night time flying and that, I'll post another little clip of that. So if you've liked what you saw, throw some likes around, head to my channel and subscribe, even head down to the comments, even just to say hello. I'd love to hear from all of you. So until next time, everybody, have a good one. Bye.